closest point. Hopefully from some of the drone footage we've flown up so far you can see this is a spectacular setting and I can't wait to see down to my left look some amazing golf holes. But man versus golf hole challenge is going to start off on the third hole. Stunning elevated position. You can see from the drone footage I'm throwing up now the hole weaves its way slightly from right into the left and the green is uh, around a little bit of a hut, a uh, little white building you can see now. That's the green just in front of there. Par 5, stroke 8, so I'm getting a shot, but I just love this in terms of how it looks from up high. It'd be nice if I can get this uh, first tee shot sailing off up into the sky. as they say I made up with that to be fair I've parred the first two holes and I, normally I thought uh, that would go completely pear shaped when I get to the third literally right down the middle greens are really burnt brown rock hard proper lynx golf so that will have run for an absolute mile I would think get down there and see what's left in for the second shot <music> So tee shot, absolutely delighted with that middle of the fair. We couldn't have asked for any better. I thought from where I was stood, it looked as though it was reachable, but it's still 280, 275 yards to the flag at the back. The bunker on the right, you can probably see, which is 180 yards away. So I'm gonna play seven iron, see if I can still stay on this short stuff and uh, leave a short wedge in. Call that right, you should get it on shot tracer. It's just short of the bunker, it's about 20 yards to the left, and so far we've got two out of two, we're in good nick, wedge into the green next. So, so far so good, third shot into the green, pin is right back far right, it's tucked away, nasty one to get at, so this is going to be hopefully somewhere heart of the green is what I'm aiming for. Happy with that, nice wedge, nice and easy. There's a bit of a mound between where my ball is and the flag, at least that's how it looks like from here. So it could be uh, a tricky putt that I'm left with, but I've got to the green in, uh, in regulation, so can't argue with that. But just when you think you've done all the hard work, this is what is so great about Lynx Golf, because I did mention there was a little bit of a mound, it looked like one. It's like the Himalayas I'm faced with. It's proper first half all uphill, second half for the putt all downhill, and the flag is right at the very bottom of it. So two putt territory, I don't know. Obviously you need to be far 
higher up that slope and it swung right down to the bottom here and six foot for par. Don't forget stroke index eight. So I'm on a shot, so I've got a pop for a win, two for a half. Tried to get away that one, thought I'd missed it, but another good start to a man versus golf hole challenge, par 5 on a shot, so that's a win for the average golfer, great start, but more importantly again, how good is this golf course? That's hole number 3, I don't know where we're going to do um, our second challenge, but I'm sure there's plenty out there, I'll find one in a minute too. Next hole up, uh, hole two in the challenge. It's another par five, this is the 12th hole. It's 531 yards into the wind, stroke 14, so no shots. But the real reason I've chose this hole, and if you ever wonder what holes I choose and why, it's often about the vantage point, what you get to see in terms of uh, the holes that I play. And this has just got an absolutely stunning backdrop. All around me, everywhere you look, it just really is. What a great position to tee off from. So, first part is some bunkers high on the left, right of them, 20 yards right of them, centre of the fairways, the ideal scenario. I don't know what lies over the hill, but we'll get the drone up for the second and third parts of this shot. But let's get this first one out of the way. I don't know whether you can see a black and white marker post um, right hand side of the fairway it's bounced short of that and hopefully it's gone no further but I think I would be in a first cut of rough and then like I said I don't know which way the hole shapes so I'll have to go and see what lies on from there right so ball come to rest it's fine where it is I'm in the second cut of rough but it's fairly light to be fair another sort of 10 yards to the right and it's starting to get into a bit of trouble as it pans now, I've got some uh, drone footage going up for you now and you can see what's over this brow. It starts to make its way slightly left to right. Um, some stunning views when you get onto the top of this brow, by the way. But it's great to have a little bit of drone footage on this one because otherwise playing slightly blind. If you see to my um, left hand side there, a little bit of a mound, there's a bunker down low. I'm going to be aiming sort of over the top of there and hopefully find some short stuff on the other side. I'm going five iron sitting okay should be okay with five animal fingers crossed and hopefully get down there and uh, leave a wedge in that's how we played the first part five i think we'll have leaked that one out uh, probably a bit too far to the right and I don't, want, don't know what lies over the top there, so whether or not I've got away with that one, I do not know. It's going to be a little bit of a get over the brow and see what's there. Right, we're back into the fairway. Terrible second shot, and I need to be a lot further left to where I was aiming. Um, in the heavy stuff there, and all I could do was chip out with the infamous tailor-made high toe wedge finally a decent golf shot that camera seems to be pointing way up in the air so i hope you've got me on that there um but i've just stuck that to about six foot we've got a chance to save a par here
ran that one over the edge of the lip there, a bit of a misread and uh, really it was the second shot that really cost me there. I had to take a six and unfortunately that's a loss so uh, that puts the, well that's put us all square, one to play. or one a piece so it's all square now um, this is stroke index seven it's a par four it's 394 yards aerial footage going over for you now a little bit of a sweeping dog leg as you can see fairway is fairly small and tight and there's a bunker right on the corner there on the left which is uh, one that you'll want to avoid off the tee so again would suit a bit of a cut I've got a shot let's hope I can make a par and get this off to another win for the average golfer Not really sure if that's uh, it could be really good I don't know how far that bank kicks in a little bit too much cut on it decent strike you can see that sort of uh, or can you from there I don't know with the cameras a uh, fairly steep bank it's coming in over the top of that and I really like I said don't know what lies over the other side so hopefully a little bit of a kick in but it shouldn't be too bad <music> hand side of the fairway uh, in terms of uh, the tee shot and obviously there's a camber from left to right that uh, I wasn't familiar with so like I said got really really lucky but I've managed to avoid the bunker which is about 20 yards behind the camera position and I've only got 90 in so like I said lucky got to make the most of the opportunity get a bit of shot tracer on it in this light I don't know but really happy it was pretty much at the pin a yard or two uh, to the right and it stopped maybe I don't know it looks about 10 to 12 foot for birdie made up with that one on camera the last few weeks that uh, a few decent things have happened because it's normally when a camera's off that them type of things uh, go into the old but thrill with that birdie three great way to finish a man versus golf hole challenge on another high uh, I really do need this camera switched on a bit more often what I was going to tell you and why I positioned the camera here is how lucky I got again with the wedge shot it was long and I was going to moan that the ball had ran on a bit but what I didn't realize again from stood back there was these two pot bunkers everything would have cambered into them if I'd have left anything short as it happened I got lucky with the wedge and then drained a 30 footer so you can't complain sometimes the golfing gods are on your side and they were today brilliant day 
brilliant setup, brilliant golf course. That's all you can say. I keep using the word brilliant because it is. It's a stunning location. Views everywhere you look. It's a classic Lynx course. Um, all about finding the right side of the fairway, like you've just seen on that tee shot there. Not necessarily the middle of the fairways, the right side of the fairway, the right landing positions. Or a bit of course knowledge needed uh, to weave your way around this one. Uh, greens, great roll. In particular, that one. Very, very true roll, that one. And uh, like I said, just a real, real top quality Lynx course with some stunning views. What more can you ask for? Anyway, great start to day versus, uh, to man versus golf hole challenge. Day one on this island trip and uh, I've got another four more to come. So let's hope, um, at least for me, I maybe manage to hold a few more putts like that. Right, hit the like button, subscribe if you don't already, and uh, I'll see you for the next round, which is from Bally Lifting. Thank you.